So, just in case anybody wants to avoid seeing some of the endgame content, um, this is one of the Elder Dragons that you fight towards the end of the game. Um, and I just wanted to put that out there in case there was uh, somebody who didn't didn't want to see that or wanted to be surprised or something like that. This is one of my favorite monsters, uh, both like as a fight and as an aesthetic. Um, so these are the skills I've got laid out and uh, the armor I'm wearing to Basil, Helm Kulv Taroth, Nergigante, uh, the new Valhazak coil, um, which I'm not using a dragon weapon so the dragon attack doesn't do a lot for me, uh, the Empress Greaves, and uh, the Earplugs Charm. And I'm using my uh, Empress Charge Blade. And so, with all of that, here we go. Um, so yeah, this this particular monster is uh, uh, I kind of like everything about it. Um, I like the design. I like the environment. I like the way uh, he does everything that he does. And um, yeah, he's just he's kind of unlike anything else in the game which is nice because sometimes sometimes a few of the things seem a little bit uh, what's the word I'm looking for not really generic but but kind of carbon copied um, and I hate the Kushala de Aura fight I love the Nergigante fight um, the Teostra fight is just hard. That is probably one of the hardest ones for me on a consistent basis. Um, and Valhazak is just fun. Just perpetually fun. Let's see if I can get him from here. Whack. Gotcha. And I get to I get to roll with my charge blade. I got lucky on that one. So uh, this is probably my favorite weapon. Um, I am getting much more fond of the bow. Um, but yeah, this is just just fun in all the right ways. And there he is. Come on. There we go. Get that protective polish going. Get my healing items ready so I don't look like an idiot. Yeah, he's mean mugging me. Yeah, there is there is almost nothing I don't like about this guy. Except that. That's one thing I don't like about him. When he hits me. So it's it's kind of hard to to really just summarize what I like so much about this fight cuz it's not what I would call a hard fight but it's definitely not easy. He uh he'll sneak up on you from time to time. Man, I love the charge blade. I'm not terribly good with it, but uh, I do. I just enjoy it thoroughly. And I'm going to see if I can drop these on him today. Sometimes I do okay, and sometimes a little bit less so. There we go. Um, if, uh, if anybody watching this is familiar with the charge blade uh, probably one of the first things you'll notice is that I do not run artillery um, I want to but given the option I just feel like I would rather have earplugs um, the damage I can do with artillery is fantastic I mean it's ridiculous you can do a ton 
of damage uh, with that artillery skill. Come on, come on, just right over here. Here we go. Can I get it? So sweet. Um, but I, I, on on a weapon that not only has such a, a long uh, wind up time for its big move. But I've also, you know, I gotta charge my files up. There's, there's kind of a lot of steps you gotta take to, uh, to getting some of this stuff put together effectively. And I just feel like I lose a lot of opportunities to do some damage when, uh, when I don't have my earplugs skill on. And so. I, I'm, I'm trying to give it up with uh, some of the sword and shield builds and uh, with the bow and arrow or with the uh, the bow build but uh, with the charge blade I I just kind of feel like I would rather run uh, earplugs to keep my damage numbers a little bit high uh, rather than artillery even though I on on some of the builds that I run artillery it is Fan freaking tastic. The numbers you put out with that are just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> ever ever since oh lord. Oh, I thought he was uh, getting ready to do his big AOE breath blowout. Um, first Monster Hunter game I played was Try, Monster Hunter Try on the Wii, and uh, as soon as I found out there was an earplugs skill that made it so the monster roars wouldn't affect you, I immediately was like, oh yes please, I, I, I must have that. And uh, kind of ever since then, that's just been, that's been something I, I have always kind of considered uh, pivotal to the way I want to play because man those monster roars oh they will stop you just dead in your tracks uh, and again with something like the charge blade that can that can greatly impact your ability to do damage when uh, so much of your your big hits require charging up your weapon and then uh, executing your power attack great um, so cool hold still hold still Charge back up. Oh, I thought you were facing the other way. You, uh, you tricked me a little bit there. Now, now we're talking. This is some nice, wide open shots right there when he does that breath attack. However, you get oh, you get hit with that breath attack. Lord have mercy. charge blade combo that I see a lot of people use that I'm not too good at uh, pulling off yet. Still got to practice. Much better than I was, but my lord, I am not what I would not what I would call good as that demonstrated right there.
See, that's one of his tricky little things there. Sometimes he'll uh, lay like that because he's all tuckered out. And other times he'll be winding up for a big breath attack that will sneak up on you. And then uh, he will cart you. Alright. Oh, whoa. Uh, that genuinely kind of startled me a little bit. I thought he was moving on. Couldn't get that, uh... Oof, couldn't get that guard point up in time. There we go. Of course, that was entirely accidental. But I'm gonna make it sound like I meant to do it. That way, I will be seen as cool. I'm also, uh, I'm not doing a good job of, uh, charging the, uh, the sword. Um, again, the wind-up on it is just so long that, uh, I kind of would rather, given the choice between maybe getting a decent hit, um, I just like having them in a little more in the open. That's all that was for. Um, between between maybe landing one mildly, moderately damaging hit with the uh, charge. I'll, I'll show you exactly what I'm referring to here in a second. Try to get one. So when I charge my files, I can... Yeah, and it definitely leaves you a little bit open as well. Especially in these, uh, these tempered fights. So let's see... Of course, alright. Uh, no more showing off. Because I'm not even showing off. I'm making a mess. Ah, nice. As I congratulate myself. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I love the Val Hazak fight, and I love the Val Hazak design, and just uh, even the Rotten Vale is is one of my favorite area, probably my favorite area in the game. Um, not really because of uh, the way it's designed or or any one particular thing, aside from the fact that it is the skeleton of a monster from a previous game. And uh, once I saw some of that stuff, um, it just it made me appreciate the aesthetic of the world building rather than just uh, kind of the appearance of it, like some of the other places. Um, all the other areas look way better than this, but this just, just has a little more character, and I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, Val Hazak by far one of my favorites. And a charge blade. Man, I love a good charge blade fight. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What do we got? Doesn't look good. Alright, bunch of worn face stones. Probably hot garbage. Junk, 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 and more junk. Boo. But double the money. And 184, so there we go. Good times. Good times with Val Hazak.